So now it's the uh, one pound game again today, and uh, today is the setup of the 2020 Sky 2022 Sky Broadband Hub. So as you can see, it's set up already. Um, I can't set it up myself. Well, I didn't set it up myself because we needed a engineer to come in and install a fiber um, box. So a fiber junction box inside the house. So I'll show you that what that is now. So as you can see, let's see there. So this doesn't go into the normal plug socket. So if you've got normal speed up to I believe 75 megabits a second the which will plug into a normal one of these but if you've got um, above that speed around 100 megabits a second mine is 145 megabits a second so it needs the speed from this green wire which is the uh, fiber optics is going down there and then around the wall and then let's see if I can see where it goes not too sure I can but it will basically terminate outside of the house so it will be outside and there will be a grey box which was installed about three weeks ago and that will be the fibre optics coming into the house so as you can see, the cable that is connected to the box is this yellow cable right here. And that will go into the number four port with WAN in red. And then that will be plugged into the middle port right there. And this one is the power. So as you can see, the, there's no cable management, but this is because it's pushed back to the wall so you won't see it and it's plugged into well an available plug socket so as you can see everything is working perfectly fine so there's power so there's power going to it internet so we're getting the internet from that white box i just showed you and uh wi-fi so it's working perfectly fine not sure if you can see they are green but these are green and then phone so with the phone, this wire, which will usually go into the socket down there, or go into there, is now going into this socket here. So it will be Wi Fi calls, and that's working perfectly fine. So if there's a problem with the home phone, that false light, the voice, will be off or blinking orange. So you can probably tell it's quite large. Now I still do have I still do have my last or previous router and if you can see if I do it this way it is quite a bit bigger than the older versions so <coughs> unfortunately you can see on the back of this one there are four Ethernet ports and obviously I didn't have 145 megabits a second then I only had 45 the internet plugged into here so I had these four um, three to plug whatever I needed so an extra router and um, Philips Hue Hub and a Deco Wi Fi extender thing, can't remember what they're called. Anyway, so these were occupied by all these, but on this one, I can only use three of the inputs because this one is taken up by the internet so I've had to remove my other router that was on the wall but everything else is plugged in so that's um, 
basically how, basically how you set it up then obviously you've got the, it's the WPS button right there so you press that and wait five seconds or so and then it'll automatically connect to the device you're trying to connect to and obviously the power input there so I forgot what I was going to say now yeah and um, the Wi Fi sync can always end you know, just the same because I'm in a house that's about 120 years old, built by miners, so it's hard to get the signal through the walls, through the bricks that's being used. But it is constant at the moment. Uh, we get around 135, 145, so depending on what I'm downloading on my Xbox One. Um, no dropouts yet. And uh, it didn't take long to uh, start working properly. It took about five to ten minutes uh, when it was first set up. Uh, it took about two hours to put the junction box in, route the cable to the outside, and do the holes in the wall. They do plug the holes that they do for the outside, and so they put plastic plugs in. So you're not going to get a breed through a large hole. But yep, um, it's very reliable. It's a lot faster than what I was getting, which is good. And um, hopefully, as you can see, the size. Oh, oh, and you can't put it on the wall, unfortunately. So, as you can see, the size. This might deter you from getting it, depending on where you've got it. So you might have it near a front door or the sofa or somewhere else I've got it on a cupboard so yeah that's how you set it up that's how it's done if you've got 140 megabits a second and up or you've got 75 megabits a second lower it will just plug in as normal so just transfer all the wires from your previous router to this one and uh, hopefully this video has come out quite well and I haven't rambled too much so thank you for uh, watching and uh, hopefully i hope you have a good day uh, one pound game out